Once in a while, I'm struck by research that is counterintuitive to what I've learned in the past. And that recently happened to me. Google has the size and the resources and the methodologies to be able to study teams in great detail and to do some really good analytics. And Google created Project Aristotle to determine which work teams were most effective and why. They started out with a hypothesis of the traditional things that we've all thought about of what makes teams effective. The highest performing teams have a diverse makeup, they have clear leadership, a clear goal, and many of those things were, were true. But there were a couple things that came out of that Project Aristotle that were counterintuitive and disruptive to my thinking and possibly yours. The first one was that having a mix of personality types was not a differentiator in terms of the efficacy and the success of teams. Whether they were friends outside of work and inside of work also was not a factor. So the idea of these relationships and diversity of personality types were not factors, that, at least in the Google study. So what were the differentiators of what were the high-performing teams versus the also rants. The first one was very interesting. Equity in distribution of conversational tracking. Basically what we would call turn taking. Were the members of the team, when you analyze the air time that each person got, it was relatively equal amongst the team. This was true not only of teams that stayed together, but also of teams that where the leadership changed and the membership changed. But as long as there was a pretty even distribution of the time people were given to speak, either on Zoom calls or in meetings. That was a characteristic that really differentiated and made successful teams. The second one was that team members scored high on an instrument that showed their sensitivity to other people's feelings. They could tell this by looking at them. They were actually given eye tests to look at people's eyes and determine what were the feelings of those people. And these people scored higher on those instruments than others. What we would call that is other awareness or emotional intelligence. The two things sort of come together, if you think about it. One is that people were given equal time. And the other one was that other people were able, sensitive to be, are you being listened to and giving people time? This was the major breakthrough of what separated the high performing teams from the also rans in Google. If you look at the literature, this is actually a big part of what's called psychological safety. And that is, am I listened to, am I respected, and do people try to understand me? Now start looking at how much airtime different people get, and is it fair? And the last thing is, is how sensitive are people to other people's needs and psychological being? I think we can learn something from this Google study. I'm certainly gonna try.